In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down my free offensive guide for the run heavy playbook in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, my YouTube channel is designed to help you take your Madden game to the next level. I do in-depth tutorials like this one where I really go into the deep uh, dive on playbooks. I also do you know, more quicker tutorials as well as my YouTube channel. Try to post about four videos a day here on YouTube, so make sure you subscribe in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. That way you can know whenever we post a new video. And we also live stream every single night. Tonight we'll be streaming after Monday Night Football. Uh, if there's a football game on, we typically stream right after that. Otherwise, we stream every night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So the run heavy playbook, guys, honestly, I discovered this by mistake. It was complete fluke that I discovered this playbook. This might be one of the best playbooks in Madden 21 right now. And I want to talk specifically about the base formation for this. Now, um, when I originally started playing Madden, I learned from two guys named S. Gibbs and Z. Faros. And one of the things that they talked about being so important is to have a good, solid base formation a base formation allows you to come out kind of get a feel of what your opponent's doing and to be able to read man or zone and so we're going to discuss that a little bit um within the raven or within this run heavy playbook and we're going to specifically start out in gun doubles now that we're going to walk through this together and i'm going to show you a couple of plays here that you can utilize and by the end of it we'll have developed a full base formation scheme for the shotgun double. So the first and foremost audible that I want you to set is wide receiver drag. It's a very, very good play. It's been a good play for years, and it's a good play in this year's game. PA comebacks is also a really good play. you got that nice little um, slanting post route. Deep in is one of my favorite plays of all time in Madden. It's really, really good this year. And then PA slot post, I actually don't really like this. I'd rather just one run wide receiver drag. Um, but you have some other plays that are really good as well, like X under seams. X under seams is a very good play. And then we're going to actually come out every play in either PA read or read option, or we could put one of those in our playbook as well. We all know what read option is. No need to really dive into what that is. The RPO zone peak is actually a really good play, and I'm going to discuss why it is in just at the end of the video. But for right now, what I want to do is I want to dive into the passing plays from this. And first, we're going to start with how does this do against man-to-man -man coverage? Okay, that's the first thing we're going to start with, man-to-man -man coverage, because if you can't beat man, you can't beat anything. And first and foremost, what I want to do is show you this PA read. Now, first things first, you have this nice little route to Willie Sneed. Now, watch what happens when I motion him to the right. You're going to see that he is going to stay on that route. What that means is that is a nice little slanted kind of drag. You see how it gets that little speed burst to the outside? So what we can do is we can kind of build around that route and we can do other things to make this more effective. What I like to do with this play right here is I like to turn it into just a simple mesh concept over the middle of the field. So I'm going to drag Andrews and I'm going to have Willie Sneed on his little route. And you're going to see this is effectively mesh. Willie Sneed with that great route running is going to be able to get open. The better route running receiver you have right there, the better that's going to work against man to man. Now, part of why you like to put your tight end on a drag is because it's an unbumpable route. And against man to man coverage, most of the time, Mark Andrews is going to do really, really well. So now you've got two man beaters in one play. Um, pretty solid so far. And now what I want to do is show you this route to Brown. This is probably one of the better routes in Madden 21 as it's a nice little crossing route from the wide receiver. And you see it's going to get really good separation against man-to-man -man coverage. It's going to be very consistent for you against man-to-man. -man. So now you've got really, um, really three solid powerful routes against the meta coverages. Now what I want to do is I want to show you um, this route to the right side of the screen. It's a little bit tricky, but I do want to discuss it because it's really, really effective against a lot of different coverages, primarily against cover two, but it's also really, really good against uh, cover three and cover four as well, um, but really, really good against cover zero. So a lot of people, what they like to do is they like to take these safeties and they like to just basically put them in spies or put them in purple zone. So what you're going to see is at the snap of the ball, um, this route on the right side, whoops, Got a, little, got a little bad um, throw out of sack animation there. So we'll show you good old practice mode, bring in the, the super sheds with me. But what you'll see on this is if I take, you know, do the standard hot routes. This is the play set up right here. Okay. Watch Boykin on that right side. You're going to see that I'm going to be able to just to lob this up. And the sheds are still crazy. We'll show you this real quick. I'm going to take it. I'm going to go ahead and just 
in practice mode for whatever reason the sheds are always really really crazy i don't know why that they do this because it makes it really really difficult to practice your plays what you'll see is if you get press coverage this route to boykin is going to get outside of release every time all you're going to do is just lob it up be sure to hold your throw at the end and you'll see this is going to beat that man-to-man -man coverage over the top very very good play especially against bench press especially against press cornerbacks um, in this year's game now if they shade coverage outside and shade coverage over top i do want to show that real quick you're going to find that this play is not as effective if they do that so what you see here i'm going to shade coverage outside shade coverage over top try to bomb and now you'll see here um, this is not as good i'm going to actually need to go ahead and start to user catch that route which we've talked about at, in other videos on our channel and we also talk about that in our coaching sessions if you haven't picked up a personal one-on-one -on -one coaching session yet you can do that in the link in the description so that's PA read in a nutshell against man to man. You got a nice little underneath mesh route. You've also got this really, really nice crossing route to Marquise Brown. This route right here um, is very, very effective. You see that um, it's going to be open at very unique points on the defense. In fact, a lot of people will put the purple zones on the outside in order to intentionally um, stop these crossing routes. But what you're going to see is because it's coming from the outside receiver, um, it's going to get even more wide open. You can pass lead that up and get pretty decent separation, um, not only against main coverage, but also against zone. So let me show you um, real quick what cover four looks like against this, against this play. So you see here, you got your nice little underneath meshes over the middle. You can click on those, make secure catches. Mesh is really good every year um, from really any formation, any playbook. I love double drags. Double drags are always one of the best concepts, but what you'll see is this little route, that's why I throw a pick, um, this little route to Marquise Brown, when you throw it at the right time, you are going to be able to consistently beat that deep blue zone coverage uh, out of cover four. You'll see right here, right in that window right there, click on, and you're going to make a secure catch. Um, and Marquise Brown will hopefully not drop it for you, but you'll see right here, right when he comes across, you see here right in that pocket, Click on, and there you get that nice diving secure catch against the cover four defense. Now, cover four is probably going to do the best, honestly, out of all the coverages. Let me show you cover three really, really quickly here. And you'll see against the cover three, you're going to be able to throw it even. It's going to be even more open, as you can see right there. So that's a really, really good base play to come out in. Now I want to talk about wide receiver drag. Now, wide receiver drag basically is a levels concept. You see you've got Mark Andrews on about a 15 yard in route you've got this nice deep post route to sneed you got this nice little um poco post corner route to brown you've got a wheel route to your running back out of the backfield and you've got uh boykin on this little drag so you'll see here at the snap of the ball now if i try to throw this wheel route this year it's not as good as you can see um not as good as it's been in years past it used to be an automatic man switch from this formation but this year, uh, man coverage is just really, really good. And so it's not quite as consistent, especially if they have safeties in there covering the running back. But um, it is very, very effective against zone. Basically, pick any zone that you want. And what you'll find is this route is going to be fairly consistent, especially if they are not hard flatting. So if they're, if they're running like cloud flats or they're running like curl flat zones that are dropped at 15 to you know 15 to 10 to 20 yards that's a great route to utilize um right now i don't have the zone drops to anything but when they start doing their zone drops which i promise you they will that route's going to be very effective but however the first read on this play and the read that i love against man to man is this little post route um this little post route to willie sneed what you're going to see is if they start shading uh, coverage over the top they start taking the safeties away what you're going to see is this route to willie sneed um, all i'm going to do is just lob that over the top click on to him and you see i'm going to get that nice over the shoulder grab pretty much against any defense that i run it against so the you want to basically have in my opinion uh, a good route runner there so if this was you know if this was mutt that might be a reggie wayne or it was still automatic or marvin harrison um, or whatever, but that's a good route against man to man. Another thing that you can do though is this route primarily um, will work really, really well against like cover four. So if they're in, if they're in like cover four or cover three, what you're going to see is this is not that bad of a play against those combinations because this nice um, these these underneath routes right here are going to look um, are going to kind of open up for you. Uh, against the cover three now if you want to make this if you want to turn this into a cover four beater all you have to do 
basically is take Boykin, put him on an out route, maybe put like Dobbins on this route right here. And what you'll see is against the cover three defense, you're going to get that nice little out that's going to hold that deep blue. And part of it's because Jair Alexander is just a beast. He will drop back. But most of the time, you'll be able to get that over. And that's a nice little cover three beater um, if they're running a lot of cover three on you. But um, the other thing that's really, really good about wide receiver drag is if they're in running man-to-man -man coverage, this route to Brown, when he cuts to the inside, throw it like a post route right there, um, you'll see you'll be able to click on and you'll typically be able to make a catch. Let me show you that one more time. Sometimes, um, sometimes you do have to get the timing right on this, just right for it to work properly. Um, let me show you that real quick. Let's see here. So we'll... Shade coverage outside, shade coverage over top so that we get the proper man-to-man -man, uh, principles and what you'll see right there. Click on and you're going to make that catch with Marquise Brown. Very, very easy, very, very simple um, reads against man-to-man -man coverage. Against zone coverage, um, like I said, you know, and I keep, um, you can kind of go back and forth here, but basically what I would center in on against zone coverage with wide receiver drag is the actual wide receiver drag. Um, it works really, really well. It gets wide open against most zones. You're going to be able to either hit the tight end or hit the wide receiver uh, on this play. Deep in, another really, really solid play. You've got about a 15-yard dig route to Boykin. I love this little shoot route that J.K. Uh, Dobbins is on. Um, doesn't work quite that good against man, but I do want to show you, basically, if you're getting any type of zone blitz, you're just going to hit the flat, hit the flat, hit the flat. Well, when you go to deep in, what you're going to see is this route, going to quick shoot to the flat, Get up and go, and you're going to see it's going to be a nice little quick shoot for about five to ten, uh, five to ten, four to six yards, um, a pop. What's really good against man-to-man -man coverage is this is an ice over route from Willie Sneed. So what you're going to see is uh, against a lot of defenses, you're either going to hit this dig route right here to Boykin, or um, if they're playing a lot of man-to-man -man on you, you're going to hit this nice little over route right there to Willie Sneed. Now this is where um, if they have the safeties back there, then you're going to probably check down to the deep dig. But if they take the safeties away, let's say they're this is a really, really good play, especially if they're, uh, you know, most of the time taking the safeties away. If they take the safeties away, you can easily lob this up, click on to the receiver and go get it. Um, part of this is dealing with the fact that Willie Sneed's route running is not as high as it kind of needs to be. But you put like a Marquise Brown there, you put anybody there, that's going to beat man-to-man -man over the top. This also matters um, when it comes down to like a cover four beater. So you see here deep in, this is a nice little Portland concept. And what's going to happen here on this play, one of these guys are going to come open for you uh, through Boykin a little bit too late. But you'll see... Um, Boykin's route is probably going to be your most consistent route on this play, uh, at least from what I've seen so far. But his route is very, very consistent when he comes over the cross the middle right in that pocket. Um, threw it a little bit late there, but you can get that ball. Um, you can get that ball in, especially against you know a cover two standard because they're going to oftentimes go with Willie Sneed, and then you can click on. And there, of course, I get that under pressure and accurate. But overall, it's a very, very solid uh, little play. X under seams, uh, or I'm sorry, PA comebacks. PA comebacks is really good because these comebacks are unbumpable. So they're not going to get pressed on the outside, and you're going to be able to consistently get these balls in against man, against uh, primarily against man. But this formation overall does a pretty good job against man to man. I feel like the routes on um, the middle of the field are pretty good as well. This, this slot receiver, again, going on a nice little... Um, kind of post in route almost and what you'll see is he's going to wrap around beat the man-to-man -man coverage easy against that cover two man which is really really nice the next play that i want to talk about is x under seams so if they're starting to press coverage you on the outside you could go to this play right here and you see with boykin um, and the better route running you have the better this route's going to work but what i like about this play is this is basically levels um, right here he does get pressed uh, and does and Jair does pl make a play on him, but again, you know, if you have a better route running receiver, you're going to get better. Um, you're going to get more consistent, like beat the press animations. But what's also really cool is this route to Marquise Brown. Most of the time, will beat man to man. Um, most of the time, let me see here. Let me get audible over here to it. 
And what you'll see is if I, if even if I take this route right here on the right, motion to the left, and I can kind of, because they've changed the snapping dynamics, I have to motion him back. But what you'll see is if I motion him back on this little little route, he's not going to get pressed. He's going to get that instant win. And then if they're in, you know, if they're not in, if they're not in cover two man, you can get that ball over the top of the defense. Also, this is a really really good play though primarily against cover two because if you see here if they run a cover two this play is going to absolutely torch it you're going to click on the receiver catch that ball and get down this route to the tight end is actually pretty good against man this year um never really seen this route do great against man but inside throwing this um and then clicking on in possession catching does do fairly well this year so i did want to highlight that as a potential option for you now on the left side what i like to do typically is i'll just kind of run off with Willie Sneed and kind of open up a little pocket um, to be able to throw the ball to Marquise Brown. Marquise Brown's route doesn't always win, um, but most of the time I have found that you can actually smart route it, get it to go a little bit deeper. And when you smart route the route, get him a little bit more space here. There you see there's that instant separation that we were looking for. And Marquise Brown is going to beat that man-to-man -man coverage. So a lot of good plays in this formation. Uh, I want to cover two more at the end here. But before I do that, I want to encourage you, if you haven't already, be sure to jump in my community Discord. Discord is a great place to be able to grow, to be able to connect um, with just other people that like playing Madden. And um, it's just a great, great place um, that I've helped. It's helped me get better, and I believe it will also help you get better as well. So um, a couple plays here that I want to talk about running-wise. Um, you can run the draw. I'm going to show you the runs here. But basically the draw is really good. As you can see here, I think draws in general this year are really, really underrated because what happens is the wide receivers will basically run off the coverage and then you can do the one cut stuff in the backfield, give some space and be able to get out of there, especially because coverage defense is such a popular thing. The next play I want to show you is read option. Um, pretty standard, literally just going to read that read defender. And I think you get pretty good blocking out of doubles this year. As you can see right there, the read option gets you know a good 5, 10 yards uh, a pop. You can also run this either inside or outside. So you see here, I can run this as an inside zone very easily. And then I can also take it outside if the defense is um, opening up a little pocket for me to be able to make that read. You see here, I can get outside, go all the way around J.K. Dobbins, get another quick 5 to 10. Now, the next thing I want to do uh, is let's show you what it looks like if the quarterback keeps it. So if they crash down, the quarterback's going to keep it out of here, and Lamar Jackson can get sticky with people. Um, you want to have a mobile quarterback, in my opinion, to run this scheme. Now the last play I want to talk about is the RPO zone peak. Now this is a very, very good play. You can kind of run a multiple of different ways. And I'll be honest, I learned this from acemadden.com. They have a YouTube channel as well, and they broke this down as a nice little um, feature. It wasn't actually out of this formation, it was out of other formations, but I find that it works really, really well out of doubles. So literally all I'm going to do as Lamar is I'm just going to follow my running back. So I'm going to fake it to him, and then I'm going to basically scramble out here with Lamar, and I'm going to follow my running back. And as you can see here, the blocking that you get on this play is absolutely incredible. In fact, I can do this multiple different ways. I can run outside with Lamar. I can also run inside. You see here, that slant route is going to serve as a lead blocker. And because I'm Lamar Jackson, I can double juke people and you know just get people juking out their shoes. You know, To me, this is a very, very good concept. Um, again, I wasn't the one that discovered this. Uh, I had uh, suspicions of this, but what you'll see here, um, you notice in the RPOs, and this is where it really kind of started to click in my head, with the RPOs, what happens is the left side guys are blocking. They're in blocking animations because what if you run the ball to J.K. Dobbins? But what you'll see here is if I run the ball, it's not that fancy. Like, yeah, it's okay, but it's not that great. However, if I turn the running back into a lead blocker, now I've got basically three to four lead blockers on that side of the field. I make one cut. Uh, with Lamar and you see how consistently I am able to exploit coverage defenses and let me be very clear you're going to get a lot of coverage defenses when you run this now what happens when they run man well um, one of the things that I've noticed is this little route here this little slant pass um, doesn't always get separation but what most people will do um, against this is if they pass commit let me just show you what it looks like if they pass commit. So if they pass commit, because this is what most people are going to do, what you're going to see here is this slant route is actually going to be pretty open. As you can see right there, it's pretty open for the most part. Um, in fact, if they run man-to-man -man coverage, you'll see again 
I'm gonna go RPO zone peak and watch Boykin on this play. It doesn't always beat it, but most of the time he's gonna beat that. As long as he's, um, if he has better route running, he's gonna get a little bit more consistent separation. But he's also going to beat it if they shade coverage outside and over top, which they more than likely will be shading coverage outside and over top to stop the streaks from this formation. So this becomes a nice little check down against man to man. As you can see, Boykin is going to consistently get um, get some semblance of separation. One thing you can also do is if you have the slant by itself. So if I motion Andrews to the left right here, and if I just you know basically let me see if I can get him, you know even if I leave him on this route right here, what you're going to see is this slant is all by itself, snap of the ball, and sometimes you can fit that slant route in there. But that slant route is an option. It's an option against zone. It's an option against man. I do want to show you really quickly what happens if you run with Lamar to the right. So if I run basically a quarterback wrap type of run, you see it's not as effective. So I would primarily, if I was doing the RPO zone peak type of uh, strategy, what I would do is run either in the middle of the field, the middle of the defense right here, you see, and I actually think middle of the defense might be a little bit better than outside. I would either run to the middle of the defense or – I would run all the way outside to the left. So two different options on this. Now, you know, if the defense is just completely vulnerable over here, you're going to see that for the most part, you can actually get out there and go with Lamar as well. But it's a good little play. Wanted to share this with you. Um, overall, it's a really good formation. Now, we're going to be back with this scheme uh, tomorrow, talking about a really, really good um, three-headed rushing attack about this. We're going to do a five sets for success series on this playbook. We've got several other things. I am going to be breaking down a free defensive scheme for you as well. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that. But if you want to dive deeper into Madden 21, I want to encourage you right now to go into the description. Pick up a personal one-on-one -on -one coaching session. There's nothing that's going to help your game improve like one-on-one -on -one mentorship, one-on-one -on -one coaching, and I do that as well on my channel. So if you want to pick up that coaching guide, coaching sessions, you can do that um, at the link provided in the description. Also, if you have any questions, you can always text me. My number is at the top left of every video I do, 812 216 three six four four i look forward to talking with you got a couple more videos coming for you today on youtube so be sure to subscribe so you can catch those there's also going to be a few other videos on your screen right now they're going to pop up that i think you would enjoy spear check out one of those and we'll see you on tonight's live stream um, probably after monday night football or at 10 o'clock p.m eastern you can for sure know by joining the discord thanks for watching guys and we'll see you tonight